All right, guys, so I'm going to do a reaction to a video with a mom who was not happy about the dad holding on to their child. She actually says her child and not their child because she sees herself as the custodial parent. And in the state that she's in, moms do automatically have the parental rights and dads have to basically establish their rights. And in her situation, dad didn't sign the birth certificate. And so she calls the police for probably more than the second time. I'm sure it's something they always do. But let's get into this video. On June 7th, what initially seemed like a routine call quickly escalated into a dramatic confrontation. As officers rushed to the scene, they soon discovered that this was no ordinary situation. It was a custody dispute that had spiraled out of control. The woman's resistance took an astonishing and shocking turn, leaving everyone involved stunned. Somebody sure. called in and said that people were fighting. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, so I basically just, I want to put eyes on everybody and make sure no one's got a busted face or anything. No, like that's, no, what I don't fight. that's what I'm saying. That's why. Can we just put eyes on people and make sure everybody good? Out of her. That's what that was. Fair she enough. Called me a I'm she called me a bitch. She called me a bitch, so I was going to slap her ass. That's okay. what that was. Okay. Okay, so you guys never got like no. this close. You were just yelling no, from the car. No, she stayed in the car. She they stayed in the, in the car, car the whole time. Are you, are, you, are you dead? I'm the dad. She I'm called my mom a million bitches, first of all. Okay, look, this is what's going on. She actually texted me earlier today and was like, uh, can you watch your baby? I'm finna get my hair done. And the other time she leave him over here. But she petty now because we're not together and I'm with another female, right? Her. That's well, basically so. You and, you and uh, the kids around you guys share custody? Huh? You guys share custody of the kid? Oh, what do you mean? Yeah, they, like, they, they go like, back and forth. Like, like, do you have a court order saying nah. who's... Oh, no. Nah. So it's just a verbal okay. agreement between yeah. you and her with the yeah. kid? Yeah. Okay. So there's... She's going to have a place to stay. She's bouncing from house to house. Oh, yeah. But there's, yeah, there's like no judge or court. Nah. No. You get him on this day. No. no. We, we have, have her no for like three or four months at a time, and then she gets her for like a week or two. And two right bring him right back. Gotcha, gotcha. I do everything for the damn baby, and then she treat me like I'm a like I'm or something. That shit weird as hell. Yeah, I hear you, man. That's usually how it goes, man. Whenever you take care of your kids and mom's not happy with you, all of a sudden you're a deadbeat dad. And it's very easy to get labeled as a deadbeat dad, even if you're the one that's paying for everything. Like, it's, it's crazy. He just wanted to want to she want to start an attention. She, she's mad I left her. She want to so start she's been, I got her on Snapchat, so she's been seeing that I've been over here. Ever since then, she's just been, like, picking it. No. Can I get my son? See, his situation probably started because he's got a new girlfriend for sure. Because why does she have her on Snapchat? And of course, she's going to be mad because she's going to be like, oh, you got a woman around my child. Like, that's never going to play well in high conflict situations with baby mothers, baby fathers. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, he, he has my son. Okay, but do y'all have like a custody agreement in here? No, he ain't even on a birth certificate. I got full rights. Okay. Of but my son. It's so I'm going to pause it right here so y'all can read the rights for, I think they live in Illinois. That's that's what it says, basically. Like, if you're not mom and your dad, you have to establish your rights if you guys are not married, which a lot of states are like that. Like, I've been saying to a lot of people, like, if you're dad, you don't automatically get rights, even if you sign the birth certificates in some states. In some states, you just need to sign the birth certificate and you have equal rights. But that's not in a lot of states. It's like maybe 18 states that have common sense and say, hey, you know, both parents have equal rights. But it's a lot of states like the state that they're in. That's basically saying that mom is the only parent in terms of like rights to the child. But that doesn't matter in this video. You'll see. You want me to put out the birth certificate? I got it in my purse. For sure. Let me Come see. on. If the dad is in possession of his own kid <laughs> and uh, we don't see any evidence that the kid is in any <laughs> danger or anything like that, we like can't. Over here to come get him. So I'm trying to figure out. She said, matter of fact, you can come get him. I said, no, I'm doing my hair right the bam. I said, I'm on my way. She said, okay, I'm here. I said it was taken all day. That's when all them came out and did all this bullshit. Okay. So okay, I would like my son. Gotcha. Listen to me. But like I said, because that's. Do I have to go up there and go get my son? If you go over there, someone's gonna get get arrested, and that's the last thing you want to do. Just listen to me for a second. We can't if if the son's with his biological dad, we can't physically remove the kid from his dad. You don't have to do that. I if can the, go get him. 
No, because if that happens, someone's going to get injured, and there's, there's going to be a fight, and someone's going to go to jail. Gonna be none of that. I have full rights to my son. I have custody of you're my not, son. You're not wrong. I, I, so what I you agree. About? Okay. So the cops are aware of the fact that she does have full rights to her her son. So we'll do quote unquote rights because ultimately it depends on the cops that show up. So more than likely they've done this before and the cops agreed with her and she was able to walk over and get her son because dad's like, oh, you know what? The cops are here. I'm going to go ahead and comply. But technically he doesn't have to. He, if you have your child and you don't want to give your child back to the mom, that that's not something you have to do, even if the cops are there, even if there isn't a court order. Like I've seen it happen a few times now where I wouldn't try it. I don't I don't play when it comes to the police. I just I don't really deal with conflict. I wouldn't say I don't deal with it well, but I just I'm not I'm not willing to deal with this shit right here. But if for whatever reason he doesn't want to give up the kid, we can't force him. He just, his mother just told me to come get my child. I understand that, but the mom is different from the actual biological dad. If for whatever reason dad doesn't want to give you the kid, I can't, I can't physically take him from him. And if you try to do that, worst case scenario. How, how, if I, if I try to do that, because I, he don't own shit. I and take him to the doctor. Right, okay. This is not even his house. I, 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 I get and that. He, and I'm on that fucking lease. Okay, I get that. Now tell me. I get that. I'm saying if... Bear, just bear with me. Just bear with me for a second. Just bear with me for a second. I can, he ain't even on the birth certificate. None of that. Bear with me for a second. I'll, I can go over there. I can talk to him and ask him to, to give me the kid and I'll give him to you. But if you go over there and you try to rip the kid from, from, from dad's care, from the house... Worst thing scenario is someone. We can, 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 you, can you let me talk? Can you let me talk? Can you let me talk? Can you just let me talk? Can you let me finish? I understand your frustration, and I'm not. I'm not saying you can't go over there. But the last thing we want to do is for you to go over there. Someone, someone puts their hand on someone, and now someone's getting arrested. You're so I think this situation is a little bit more complicated because she did disrespect the grandma, and because the grandma wants to fight her, the cops are basically like, you know what? Maybe in a situation where people don't want to fight we would walk over there with you and we would say hey do you want to give her the child back and then in some cases or in most cases dad would be like sure now i've seen cases where dad straight up says no and this is definitely going to be one of them okay custody stuff here the most no, we can do first is custody stuff no, no. we just no the, the uh the last time she had got the police to come over here the police told her just call them call us over here and we'll get your baby yeah because they always had a shit going on he gets mad she don't want to with him no more she he he holds the baby from her so this is probably the mom's mother and i believe her i believe that there's definitely some kind of back and forth going on between mom and dad and i'm pretty sure they have called the police out before and he, normally the police just walk over there with mom and they do the exchange that's generally how it will go down in most situations the cops come and dad will say you know what i don't want to deal with it I'm going to give the child over, but you technically don't have to, and you're going to see it, it play out. But there's some confusion going on here when it comes to the law. Like personally, this whole, you know, mom is the only one that has automatic rights. It needs to go away and both parents should have the same rights. So y'all need to, this is, this comes back to y'all need to go to court. court and they have need a to go to court, but she, has full, but she has full custody of her baby though. That's what I'm saying. She just Does he ever let the baby visit? Huh? Does he ever let the baby visit him? Did she let the baby visit him? Yeah. Sometimes. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what he's going to argue when we try to take this baby is that, oh, she lets me have the baby all the time. But so therefore, but it's known that he, can, that he can have access to the child. So that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Right, that's, that's what he's going to argue. Right. I'm not saying I agree with him. I'm saying that's what he's going to argue right. with. Uh, I just showed you I proof that my phone just called me over here to come get my child. All right. Stay with my partner. I'm going to go talk to him and see if he wants to give give the kid to you. But again, if he, said, if he tells me go kick rocks, I, like I said, I can't take the son away from his biological father. Okay, well, I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a problem because I'm going to get my child. I would not suggest to do that because la the, the last thing we want to do, but I'm letting you know the last thing we want to do is, is to arrest someone. I don't need no fuck none of that. Just so you guys know, mom or dad, if the cops are involved, whoever has the worst attitude, I'm not a cop, but I'm sure I can, I can ask some of my cop friends, but generally, if you have a bad attitude towards the cops they're, they're not going to do you any favors so mom the entire time has been horrible with the cops because she's like i have all the rights you know i've done this before and this wasn't a problem in the past and that's probably true but her attitude stinks and so 
So I feel like because the attitude is horrible, the cops are basically just going to be like, you know what? We're going to side with dad. Okay, my child. All right, man. So is there any way that... So, so how often does she come and drop off to get half night? Do you, do you see him? Look, long story. Look, no, I'm gonna tell you the whole story. Jesus. Just, no, just, listen, just, listen, we haven't been doing it. We've no, been for three or four months. My son time. come here for at least a month or two. I got you. If not longer, and then she gotcha. get him back for maybe a week or so. Okay, just call me. Do you mind get, just call me to get him a back. Yeah, she call me to yeah, get him yeah, back yeah. again, just to go out and have fun. She don't never have her baby. Okay. And every time I get All my son back, he's sick. All right, so just let me finish. Um, so I, I told her, so because you guys do shit custody, I told her I'd come over here to talk to you, see if you were willing to let the kid go with her. Is that something that you would be okay with or? Tonight, no. Tonight, no. I okay, keep totally fine. Safe so, we got somewhere perfect gotcha. Later. Totally cool. No worries. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told her. If you guys kind of want to stop this whole feud going on, I would suggest going to court, filing for some so, sort of a uh, shared custody thing where you get them on certain days, she gets them on certain days, you know, X, Y, Z. So that way we avoid this whole thing. Um, she obviously wasn't too happy when I told her that. Um, I, I, I told her if if she tries, if she, does she live here? No. no. She doesn't live here. Okay. Um, she yeah, doesn't know because I'm not with her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, told her, I told her the same thing, that if you guys kind of want to resolve this whole issue to go to court, file some sort of court order for the shared custody thing. Um, I mean, it, other than that, yeah, I, I really got. Man, if you don't. Technically, in Illinois, the, the oh, woman I mean, has yeah, full custody. Without you know she's baby. Doesn't matter. It's <laughs> so it's exactly as I said. Mom has full rights. The cops know, but because the attitude stinks, they're not going to work with her. This is not the first time she's called the police either. I'm sure they know about the other situations, but again, they talk to her. Her attitude stinks. Dad's kind of cool. Like he's he's a little bit. You can tell he's kind of stressed a little bit, but he his attitude is much better than mom. So I'm not surprised that they're working with dad. But they're telling dad that he doesn't have any rights until he goes to court. So they're encouraging them to go to court. And basically, it starts with court. It doesn't end with court because if she or or if dad wants to be difficult, so either party, if you guys want to hold on to the child, like you still can after court. You'll just have to be held in contempt. So even when you go to court, it doesn't end there. But in most cases, it gets a lot better. And people generally do comply when there is a court order. But yeah, there's been situations where like the cops are called with court orders and they tell you to go see a judge. That, 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 that's, that's still biological, so that's, mom. Yeah. So yeah. that's why we're telling you you have to go to court. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. yeah. I would. Yeah. I would. I would. It, it, has this been an ongoing issue? Yeah. It just started. It just started. I will. Like, let's yeah, like let's hope it's the end of it. Like I said, man, when I, the soonest you, you can, I'd go ahead and do that to avoid all this. Because the last thing I want to do, like I said, is, mm -hmm. is for it to get uglier. And now we're leaving with someone in cuffs, you know? So, I mean, yeah. Oh, it's about to get ugly, all right. They're about to find out the hard way. Well, mom is not dad. Other than that, man, I've. Right. I'm sorry, I didn't give you back your idea. There's that. Um, so I, I talked to him. He said he doesn't want to give the baby back tonight. So I'm going to tell him the same. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told him. If you guys want to. No, 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 no. Stop, wait, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Just listen. Stop. Listen. Let me go. Stop. You're going to go to jail. And you're not going to get him. Stop doing that. What I just tell you, we'll be going. Let me go. Can you just listen? Listen to me for a second. Listen. 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 You know, she hits the officer with that door. He could say, hey, you assaulted me. So this is her warning right here. They could have just left and came back tomorrow and picked up the child. But she's upset because she knows her rights and she knows that she is the mother. And the state, basically, the rules are written that she is the one that has the parental rights until dad establishes his parental rights. And the cops know it, too. But because her attitude stinks, they're like, 
you know what, let's, let's use common sense. So you're just going to drop your baby off to dad and act like he's not the dad when it's time for you to pick up your child because you guys have some kind of disagreement. Like, nah, they're like, you know what, the kid is totally safe with dad. There's no point in forcing dad to hand over the kid, which, like they said, they wouldn't do it anyways. Stop real quick. Let me talk to you real quick. Because this is how this goes for real. They not playing. This is how this goes for real, nigga. They're going to give you a report number. You're going to go. You're going to go. You're going to call that number. You're going to go get a restraining order so you can go get your baby. Prove that you have proof of your custody of your baby. Because right now, it's not going to happen right now. It's not gonna happen right now. Message, motherfuckers just called me over here to come get my child. When I'm waiting for my child, motherfuckers come out with a whole bunch of motherfuckers. Talk about they want to fight. Right, and I understand. Fuck. That. I understand. Are you that. serious? And it's it's okay. Is it my turn to talk? Go ahead, sir. Just let him finish. Go ahead, sir. So the exact the same thing I told him. I'm gonna tell you. Because he is biological dad, we can't take the they kid from him. And they can't do that, bitch. That's by law, bitch. They can't. It's, I don't even know if you're the biological dad. Or if not. My, it's it's different if mom says, okay, come pick him up. But if dad doesn't want to, respectfully, mom doesn't have a say in that. We can't just take him. Or you can't just take We can't just take him because mom said, come get him. Okay, order. I can take him. He has, the same, he, he has the same parental rights as you do, is what we're saying. That's what I'm saying. No, he can't he take does away not. Just like you can. You don't have no, no rights. No, I, no, he's not on the birth certificate by law. He's not. He, he don't have rights. Right, but, but, so the cops already, they, they know what's going on, but they just don't want to deal with it. And again, it's because her attitude stinks. So I don't know if her attitude was better, if she would still be able to walk away with the child, but they definitely look at her like, all right, you know, you you know your rights, but at the same time, you know, they're, they're not really feeling the way that she's acting. She has a bad attitude. She probably was about to get jumped because I can tell that she does not have a good attitude. And those are the type of baby mothers that the women in your family will want to put hands on her because you can't just be disrespecting grandma and not expect to get hands put on you. And so she escalated this situation by being disrespectful. And then now she's trying to call the cops to back her up. And then she's disrespecting the cops. And so they're looking at her like, just go to court. Once, once he knows he's a dad, the so police can't have if, nothing. The police can't do nothing if, about if it unless wanna, go through the court. If you want to figure all this out, shit, I would suggest getting a court order, oh filing some sort of paperwork go early in the morning. for five. Go early in the morning. It's okay, G. Let him have it. Let him have that. Let him have that. It's cool. You're gonna get your baby back tomorrow. Go to court, get an order for full custody, shared custody, whatever, it is, whatever, it, is, whatever, whatever it is, whatever it is you decide. But the way you're acting, it just let him have that. G. It's cool. Let him have that. We're going to get your baby back tomorrow. And it, it could be as fast as tomorrow. That's all we need. Can we please get the case number, please? Yeah, I'll give you the, yeah, I'll give you the answer number. Give you the case number and then we'll circle the Lake County Circuit Court Clerk's Office so they can tell you how to work on getting all that paperwork. Yeah, because it, it, it can happen as soon as tomorrow. Then you're going to get a restraining order out on him since he's trying to get people to jump on him. Yeah, Because yeah. that's not how this shit goes. Who is that? Five, five, seven, 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 seven. Who is that? The same bitch. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, he came over here trying to open the door. Girl. I don't know. I don't like this shit. I do not like this shit at all. Let him have this shit. Lake County Circuit Court Clerk. I think it says you gotta open it up. This one. Lake County Circuit Court Clerk. It's okay, Circuit Court Clerk. Living room. 514. All right. So that's my name at the bottom. That's the incident number. On the inside, I underlined the number that you can call. Again, I would highly suggest you getting all that figured out with the judge, because again, I, I, okay, I feel like I'm just being a dead. Okay. As soon as tomorrow, though. You, yep. You can go as soon as tomorrow. It's open on what? What's tomorrow? No, Wednesday, I'm talking Thursday. About for the baby, though. For what? I'm sorry. I'm talking about for the baby, though. As soon as they process the paperwork, the sheriff's deputy can come out here and it's up, it's up and to come a, get the baby. Okay. It's up to the judge. Really. Yeah, yeah, but she got full custody of her baby. She been, she got full custody of her baby. Though. I understand. Just, we don't have no paperwork to show you that right now, so let me she ask, can't go get the baby. Let me ask you a question. How old is the baby? My son is two years old. Two years old. All right. I've seen this a lot, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, yeah. And oh, my, my best advice to anybody is to go to court. Who's not married, have kids. You got to go to court. You got to get a visitation agreement that's signed by a judge that specifically spells right. out yeah, 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 dates, whatever. weekends, this night, that night, whatever. Because something like this always happens yeah, and yeah, when it doesn't 
people and when, life. And when it does, and I don't even understand how when it does happen. I don't, I don't even understand me, none of this because when it does, he's not on the birth certificate legally. He has no rights to my son. When it all. does happen, at we all. are in a position. We yeah, but they know that he's the. So, interesting. She always says her son. But why are you leaving your son with somebody who is not the dad? So the cops are using common sense. They're like, clearly he's the dad. That's why they say he's a biological dad, despite the fact she says that. He is not on the birth certificate. Why would you leave him there then if he's not the dad? So, yeah, they're using common sense in this situation. And, yeah, she's still being rude. She's cutting the cops off. You can't be rude to cops if you expect them to be fair to you. They're, they're humans. So if you're going to be a dick to the cop, they're basically going to look at you like, well, you sure you need my help? Yeah, we can know. we cannot so they can't get into it. They can't eat. He's not on the brain. We cannot physically Listen, remove. They can't take him. We cannot physically remove a child from the place that it's at if the child is Jessica, Listen, like safe and healthy. Just, just shut up for a second. You know what I mean? Big, you, you, we cannot take we cannot take a child away from take someone. Him. They can't just run up in there and take the baby without a court order. Without a court order signed by a judge, we cannot remove a child from wherever the child is at its okay, present time while we're here. What's that? But, but they I don't want they, they don't want you to go to jail because if you, you go, go to jail, where? they I have to call DCFS and they have get to do the extra other shit. If y'all get into a fight to tonight, to, then no, you can't. DCFS over oh, here, I'm gonna bitch your ass, bitch. And I'm not fucking playing. Don't mind me. Any bitch in DCFS over here is gonna be a motherfucker. I'm fucking grabbing me. Stop grabbing me. Stop grabbing me. Don't fucking grab me. You can't. They don't have no ass. Stop grabbing me. Just, Girl, shut up! You're too fucking grown. You're too fucking grown. Right? How the fuck you call me over here to grow up? The mama grown. 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 The this is a bad look right here. And I guess the other woman in the car is not her mom. Maybe it's just a friend or a sister. But yeah, there she couldn't control her anymore. Stop. Please stop. 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 You're going to go. Listen, you're going to go to jail. You're going to go to jail. You're going to go to jail. Now you're going to jail. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. been acting crazy all night. Put your hands behind your back. That's it. We're not playing that. Yeah. I got her, I got her, I got her on this one. Give me this one. No, she kicked me in the chest. In the no, that's it. You're under arrest. Let's go. Let's go. Do you, do you stay here as well? I'm not. Okay, if she, if she, if she comes, I don't think she will, but if she comes back again, just, just give us a call. Um, yeah, I, I'm sure as you heard, she kicked that officer back there, yeah. so we, you know, we got to take care of that. It's been an ongoing thing for the last, the baby practically lived with me. Yeah. The baby been here since October last year. Okay. She homeless. She was staying here, but I don't do disrespect. You're not gonna disrespect me in my house. Not when I have company, you're not gonna be walking around here with your with your bra on and your yeah, short shorts. Yep. And I got grown men up 45 and older up in here. You know what I'm saying? And kids up in here. Then you go disrespect me, send me a text, call me all kind of bitch, and I'm the one that was helping you. Yeah, I hear you. Know you know what I'm saying? Then Look. you mad because my son don't want to be with you. That's why I told him to shut up and go upstairs. Yeah, no, that's yeah, what this that's, is. Yeah, yeah that's probably what it busts. Um, like I said, just I'm sure. Uh, your son can hear us, but like, just remind him about the whole court thing. Get that, get that taken care of. Yeah, get that yeah. taken care of as soon as possible. And uh, if you guys have any questions, we'll, we'll get out of your hair, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right, ladies. Thank Hope you have a better night. So always go to court. How old are you? And his, his mama, because she's sitting up there talking like she didn't just call me over here to get my son. I have that in messages. I understand, but if you had a gun and you say, shit, I was trying to shoot them, not that cop right in front of me, that ain't going to fly either. That ain't going to fly. Just because you get upset with your emotions, you got to control that. Right, and I understand. That's it. That's the lady. When situation. that comes, get the paperwork that says he's not the dad, and then you'll have 100% full print of the put in. She was charged with two counts of aggravated battery of a peace officer a class two felony because she kicked a police officer in the groin while resisting arrest and battered a second officer by striking him with her car door. She was held on a $50,000 bond on June. So I've been saying that moms in most states do have the parental rights. And in a lot of situations, it does matter because if y'all get into a custody dispute, 
at the daycare, the daycare is going to be like, you know what, mom is right, so the kid's going to go home with mom. So it all depends on, on you know, who is there and what they think about the whole situation. But going to court definitely does help. Sometimes even that court order doesn't help because I've seen other videos where dad has a court order but still can't pick up his kids from mom even though they're supposed to exchange. So these these custody situations are crazy. And, you know, I feel like if all states had equal rights, you would have less of them because mom would say, well, we both have equal rights. So, you know what, let me go ahead and share time because I know we think that dads don't want time, but there are a lot of dads that do want time, but they have to fight mom and they don't always want to go to court. I mean, I went to court, but I can't expect every father to go to court. But, you know, what do you guys think? 